February 27, 1942. The Battle of Java Sea, one of the worst naval defeats for the Allies in World War II. The Japanese Navy crushed a coalition of warships from the US, Britain, Australia, and the Netherlands, sinking at least eight ships in several days of fighting off the coast of what is now Indonesia. In the run-up to the 75th anniversary of the battle, a diving expedition recently made a disturbing discovery. The wrecks of at least four Dutch and British warships, some of which are seen in this rare archive footage, completely disappeared off the bottom of the sea, leaving Indonesian officials baffled. It hasn't been identified whether it has, it has moved uh, or whether it has been stolen. It's not, the, the point is that it's not there where it was once there. Britain and the Netherlands condemned the disappearance. Here's why some people are so upset about the missing warships. The relatives and governments of sailors who died on board view the undersea wrecks as maritime war graves that should be respected and protected just like any other World War II cemetery where hundreds of fallen servicemen are buried. In 2014, the U.S. Navy held this ceremony over the final resting place of the USS Houston, a cruiser that fought to the death against the Japanese, alongside the Australian ship Perth, before both ships sank with a combined loss of life of more than 1,000 sailors. My dad was able to survive the sinking. He literally was the only person that got out of the lower uh, deck uh, turret number one team because he was a young man, he was only 17 years old. After the war, Otto Schwartz started a survivors group that's now led by his son, John, who's now deeply worried about the disappearance of other ships in the region. We're on eggshells. We're, we're very anxious and very disturbed, and we're just praying and hoping uh, that no further damage gets done to either our ship or any others. Two years ago, U.S. Navy divers visiting the Houston discovered scavengers systematically looted the wreck. Experts say hoisting an entire warship off the bottom of the sea would be logistically challenging. But if you could do it, professional Indonesian shipbreakers tell CNN, the scrap metal from one vessel alone would easily be worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. To do things such as we're talking about, would be equivalent for someone to go into Arlington National Cemetery with an excavating equipment and start digging up coffins and, and, and graves. The same thing. The Indonesian and Dutch governments have agreed to launch a joint investigation to solve the mystery of what happened to the final resting place of so many sailors. Ivan Watson, CNN.